what's going on YouTube Detroit Reaper here with another video and today we're gonna to be talking about backwards compatibility for the Xbox one and how I believe that it's coming sooner than later I think they might just announce this at E3 2015 and here's my reasoning for thinking this a new article came out a couple days ago and I just haven't had the time to make a video about this until today a new video this article is talking about cloud gaming and Microsoft has teamed up with Duke University to come up with a tool that will make cloud streaming 80% uh, needing 80% less bandwidth now it already takes a tiny bit of internet to use the cloud streaming services so 80% is a huge chunk of that so now even people with really really bad internet should be able to stream games and still get a very good connection now why I think this is meaning that backwards compatibility is coming is because it talks about game streaming in this it says that game streaming is a lot harder than video streamer and when they actually stream these games that um, there was barely any lag and this is from people who actually play games for about two hours every day like you know hardcore gamers were playing this and saying these things so what does that mean for us I feel like I know that they're gonna probably use this for the PC gaming thing to you know to go back and forth between the two but I also believe that Xbox one will now be getting the same type of service as Sony like the PlayStation now service and I'm not sure what their model will be, if it'll be free, they'll probably have it like $30 a month or $20 a month, something like that, trying to keep it as a subscription to make it easier on people's wallets. But this just makes me think that these things are coming like really fast. I feel like this could be announced at E3, they could tell us how they're going to do backwards compatibility. And with this cloud streaming, you can do a lot more than just that. Because as we know, Crackdown is also supposed to be using the uh, cloud um, gaming and going to be able to make like the whole city will be destructible basically. And I don't know if that's exactly how it'll be, but that's what they're making it seem like. That's what's going to be going on. And if this is true, these games have been even scratched the surface on what cloud streaming can do for their games. We both, we all know that games like Titanfall and Forza have used these things um, so far, but they haven't really used them to their best potential. Like, you know, Titanfall, they used it for the AI bots, and Forza, they had it like for the AI um, cars that would drive like your friends or whatever. And now, um, even Killer Instinct is using, I believe, the cloud to um, mimic characters or to um, basically to copy um, how your fighting style is, and then you'll go into other people's games or in like your, like your friends' games, and they can play you. And they say it even works way better than any other game that's tried this type of system. And I'm very interested to see how these cloud gaming streaming services will be. Will they only use Microsoft games or will they be able to get other games, you know, like, um, I know they probably won't be able to get, well, maybe they will be able to get EA Access games, not EA Access, but EA games um, from back in the day, like uh, 360 games from EA and things like that. Um, I'm really hoping and excited to see what these guys are going to do with this because I am I really think that they do have a lot of potential uh, going into this. So it's very interesting to me to see what they're going to do. Um, you guys let me know what you guys think. If you guys think that this is actually going to be announced sooner than later because I'm actually thinking E3 now because of this article and with the game streaming and with PlayStation now already out they already are behind um, by a small amount with it comes backwards compatibility but where the question lies is if they're gonna be able to, to match Sony's uh, streaming service I'm sure it'll probably be better than theirs just because they're, they are like one of the biggest uh, cloud gaming techs and they probably put in millions of dollars just researching just cloud gaming alone you know what I mean so I feel like theirs will probably be better but it's really all about the pricing model how are you gonna um, you know how is everybody gonna get this is it gonna be just um, you know a, a gold thing like if you get Xbox Live Gold then you 
automatically get this service now? Will it only let us stream games that we already purchased on the Xbox uh, 360? You know, things like that. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think, and I'm out of here. Peace.